Okay, welcome to the Rock Mall. My name is Sean Davidson. I'm a Berkeley faculty member and, and adventure education coordinator. I'm going to introduce you to a few things at the wall. Um, please make sure you sign the waiver that you've read the local operating procedure manual for the Rock Wall and another waiver that you've watched this video. Uh, there's a separate um, hard copy of the LOP inside the Rock Wall. So, you're gonna open the wall with the key, then you're going to come in, the door is over here. Everything within the wall, the keyboard is right here, okay? Turn it, put it back in so you don't lock the key inside. Everything for the wall should already be set up. The bins are there. There should be towels on each gray bin just in case it rains so the belts and the helmets don't get wet. Um, you're going to take out belts and helmets just like they are shown right now. The black ropes that you take down, you're just going to put in the corner so that they don't get stepped on by any of the kids. Usually I put three over here and three over on the other side, line the helmets up, and then have various um, styles of belts out. Um, the cones are going to be set up like they're shown right here, about 10 feet from the wall. That's where the next climber will wait. Um, the climber obviously is going to be up on the wall. So the way that you take the ropes down is you are just going to continue to pull the black rope until you get to the carabiner. Okay, these are auto lock carabinas, so you're going to push down, turn, and then push in. And then when it goes back, it just auto locks on its own. Okay? Just like that. All right, and then you would put that on the eye hook right there. Get rid of the black rope. Okay, now the main safety thing to go over are the belts and the helmets. So, we have blue belts, which are a little bit bigger. Green belts are a little bit smaller. Okay, let's just say the belt was completely undone to start. Okay, you want to make sure that the waist band goes through the back purple. Okay, this purple loop goes in the back, the harder purple part goes in the front. And what you're going to do is you're going to loop it under and then down. Okay. So that is the main thing that you need to do, is make sure if the belt is undone that it goes through the back purple. Okay, the red part of the belt is going to face towards the harder purple part in front. You're gonna go up and down. That's what I always tell the kids, up and down. Okay, so let's say I'm putting this belt on. The legs were already done, so I'm not gonna take time to do those. Okay, I'm gonna have the kids Make sure that they put the waist part above their hips, okay? It'll generally be loose to start. So you're going to feed this through and then pull your slack. Now, the most important thing is to double back and cover that red part. It helps to push the buckle forward and to put a corner of the belt in. It's the easiest way to get it through. And then to tighten that so you don't see the red. Okay, if you're seeing red anywhere on the belt, Leg, leg, okay, it looks the same exact way for the legs. Okay, the most important part is the waist, okay, because if their waist is not done and they're up on the wall and this pulls, okay, they could slide right out of their waist. Okay, so you have to make sure it's double backed. Now, you have your participant ready to go once they have a helmet on. Okay, the helmets generally all work the same. They're either a little um, pinch mechanism back here. This one has a wheel that just makes it looser or tighter. Okay, they put the helmet on, clip in. A good check for that is a head check where they shake their head yes or no. If it looks loose and wobbly, then tighten it up. Now, on the wall, just be careful that when you get to panels three, four, and five, that they're not all descending at the same time because they can crash into each other. So usually I have them kind of stagger themselves as far as when they start. When the carabiner goes in, you're going to put it down and through. Instead of up, where this can rub on their body, you're going to go down. 
That way that auto lock is facing the outside. Always double check with a squeeze check that auto lock. Auto means automatically. However, we want to make sure it goes automatically. Okay. When you let it go, you should hear a click. And then I always do a squeeze check to double check it. On your first climber of the day, on each paddle, so you get all six people clipped in, your first climber of the day, they're going to climb to the white line, and then you're going to check the device. They touch the white line, and then they're going to jump, and we're going to make sure that device is on point. It will be, um, but that's just a safety precaution that we take. So once that's done, your climber can climb to the top. When they descend, have them grab their rope, and they're gonna walk down. I'll show you right now. No climber should be underneath because they're waiting at the cones. I'll go a little bit higher. Okay, so they're coming down. You wanna make sure that they're not flipping upside down, that they're not spinning, because they're gonna crash back into the wall, hit one of these big rocks. So they're here. Okay, and then just kind of walk down get to this point, do not have them clip or unclip themselves. Okay, you must do that. And that's it. At the end of the day, you're going to put everything back in the closet the way that you found it. See, there are various other challenges, noodle challenges, time challenges, different color challenges up the wall. Um, you can see all that in the LOP. Thank you.